Hey guys, it's Paul here and today's video is a guide to Zhou Fen, Taiwan and basically I'll talk about how to get there, what to expect, some tips and tricks to navigate the place as well as uh, spots for Instagram photos and videos and I'll leave a, a link in the description on a tour if you don't want to do it yourself. And then I'll also talk about add-ons to your itinerary for the day when you're going to Zhou Fen. Zhou Fen is a very popular location to visit and tourist attraction for people who visit Taiwan. If you want to consider about quarter to half a day uh, for your itinerary when you visit Zhou Fen. And it is located in the northeast part of Taiwan. Uh, Zhou Fen started in the late 1800s as a gold mining city. It then became a tourist spot when the movie was released called City of Sadness in which was filmed in Zhou Fen. It then became popular again in 2001 due to its resemblance in the downtown Japanese anime movie Spirited Away by Studio Ghibli. Despite Miyazaki himself denying Zhou Fen as the model city for the movie, many Japanese travel magazines and guides have Zhou Fen as a must-see. Now it has become a hotspot for tourists and especially for the Japanese. To get to Zhou Fen from Taipei, it's pretty easy. We specifically took the MRT and waited for the 1062 bus. Now you can go uh, either bus, train, or taxi route to get to Zhou Fen. And each of them will be different times and also different costs. And so going by bus route is probably the most economical way. Uh, but when we were waiting for the bus, we were approached by taxi poachers, and that's a name I made up. But basically, it's this guy that came up to us and was like, Oh, do you want to go to Zhou Fen? Are you going to Zhou Fen? I'm going to charge 200 Taiwanese dollars per person. And that's about twice as expensive as a bus ride, but it would cut the time in half. So we, were, we decided, why not? Let's try it out. So uh, we took the taxi and we got to Zhou Fen within about 40 minutes, depending on traffic that day, right? And to go home for the evening, we decided to take the taxi as well for 300 Taiwanese dollars, got us back all the way to Taipei. Now, if you're concerned with saving money, then going the bus or train route is probably your best bet, but you'll lose a little bit on time. The main tourist attraction in Zhou Fen is the Old Street. This is basically a narrow street with a lot of shops and food stands along the way and it gets quite crowded during the afternoon and evenings. Uh, the crowds are thinner in the earlier part of the day uh, and then the late part of the evening after all the tour buses have left. Most shops will close by 8 or 9 p.m. and everyone will leave by then. If you want the perfect Instagram shot with the lanterns on the stairways, you will want to wait until all the crowds thin out or you can stay the night in Zhou Fen as well and that way once all the tour buses leave you can get your shot. Zhou Fen is a very small place overall and I would recommend only two to four hours max to explore this area. If you are interested in seeing the iconic Aime Tea House, it is better to save Zhou Fen for the last part of your day itinerary so you can see all the lanterns light up. The best place for photos or videos is actually across the way uh, from Aime Tea House, which is the Skyline Tea House across the street. There, they set up a barrier so you cannot freely enter the tea house, the Skyline Tea House, uh, without actually buying tea or buying food there. There's actually a gatekeeper that will let you in or out. And basically you gotta tell the gatekeeper that you're interested in drinking tea and you're gonna buy drinks. They do serve food, but sometimes they don't because they have tour groups actually booked for dinner there or lunch. And so they actually only serve food for the tour, tour groups. Uh, and then for the best photo at the Skyline Tea House, you want to make your way up to the third floor uh, where you'll have unobstructed view of the Ame Tea House and you can get your photos or Instagram shots. And from the first and second floor, there's power lines in the way so the, the photos aren't as good. We were able to enter the Skyline Tea House twice in the same day. We went during the daytime and then we enjoyed the scenic view of the town and ocean and then we visited again at su after sunset 
to get a glimpse of the Ame Tea House with all the lanterns lit up. Exploring the old street is very crowded and there's a lot of souvenir shops if you want to pick up something, tea shops, food shops, uh, and small uh, snacks. And some of the popular places for the street food are the Azu peanut ice cream roll, the Agon taro balls, of course the Ame Tea House. Uh, generally, you know, you're gonna have to make reservations if you're at the peak times of the day for that place. The Weedi, Woody Flower Lady Taiwanese Sausages, the Zhangzi Traditional Fish Balls, and the Alan Glutinous Rice Cake are very popular dishes and shops to visit. We could not find everything because some shops were just simply not open the day we were there or they had already closed up and went home for the day. Some have, there are some sit down restaurants, but you have to make reservations for the popular spots. There are several options you can add on to your itinerary for the day because you don't want to spend the entire day at Joe Fan. You'll get extremely bored because of it's such a small area. And so I would expect anywhere from quarter to half a day spent at Joe Fan. And then to add on, you can go to Shifin Old Street, Shifin Waterfalls. You can add on uh, Teapot Mountain Hike. You can add on the Gold Museum and also the Yuli Geopark. For all the add-on options for your Jofen day itinerary, I'll have separate videos on my channels going more in depth. I hope you enjoyed the video and all the tips I gave you. If you liked this, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and see you guys next time.